um, how many people have played a sport sometime in their life, like when they were little or like now? So pretty much everyone. Um, so my second question is, how many people have suffered from concussion from playing a sport or just in general? Okay, so fair share of hands. Um, I feel as though for the most part, like everyone has played a sport at some point, and that a lot of concussions come through sports. That's actually the highest percentage. Um, I want each member of my audience to understand that concussions actually end up having a long effect on the brain. And I decided to research this topic because actually it's personal to me. Um, I received a concussion and my mom also had one. So in college, my mom was driving home from Pennsylvania and we went to college and she got rear-ended and her head basically like went into the back of the car and she ended up getting concussion. And then months later, she lost her eyesight. Like she can see, but she just has glasses. So that was one result from her having concussion. And then when I was in fifth grade, I was on a travel soccer team for my town and I was going up with girls probably like twice the size of me. And so basically as we were both going for the ball, her elbow went like that right to the side of my head. And I instantly fell right to the ground. I don't remember falling to the ground or getting carried off the field or anything. So I was actually unconscious by the time I had my concussion and I was really young and very like unaware of everything and how much of a deal it was. And I knew that I suffered from concussion from when I went home and started throwing up constantly and then couldn't remember exactly what happened in the game. I was asking my parents like what day it was and everything. And it was like very confusing since I was so young. And I feel like back then people weren't as educated as they are now about concussions. Um, so obviously we know that concussions can have a long-term effect on the brain. And basically concussions are a serious type of brain injury. And they're defined as a temporary unconsciousness caused by a blow to the head. And it definitely affects your brain function. Some concussions can cause you to lose consciousness, but, but most do not. And it is possible to have a concussion and not realize it, and that's what ends up happening to a lot of people, is they just think, oh, if I got hit in the head with a basketball, a lacrosse ball, everything, et cetera, like, I'll be fine, and they keep going and playing sports. But that is actually the problem, is that when they continue to go about their daily life and everything that happens, that's when the brain basically retracts. And some basic symptoms of concussion are headache, temporary loss of consciousness, confusion, amnesia, dizziness, nausea, vomiting, appearing days, and fatigue. So for example, imagine you and your best friend do everything together. Go out to lunch, hang out at night, do homework, and suddenly one day your best friend just ignores you, doesn't want to talk to you again, and basically that's an effect of having a concussion because they're always by your side, but then suddenly they end up switching and become very angry and moody, and that's the personality that affects that their concussion. Um, concussion children are one of the things that I really want to focus on because it happened to me when I was like in the elementary school because when we are in that phase of our life like everything's developing not just like our brains but it's all like physically and mentally and it's just like a period that everything goes through changes you go through changes in your social life friends home everything so detecting symptoms in children can either be easy or difficult depending on the child so basically it depends on each specific child for example if um, a child that has concussion suddenly loses interest in their favorite food or toys. That's when we know that something can be up if there is definitely acting differences. Mood and personality is one of like the biggest effects. And some of the results of concussions can have post-traumatic headaches, vertigo, and even effects of multiple brain injuries. And I know that because, for example, when I had my concussion, like months later, I started getting like very bad headaches and migraines that I went to a bunch of um, child neurologists and they kept having tests like MRI, CEGs, but I always have it on like this half of my brain, which is actually where the person elbowed me, so it's always been on this side. And I went and had a bunch of tests and everything, but nothing came up and they're like, oh, it's fine, like nothing's there. And to this day, like I still get them occasionally if I get stressed or anxious or something. So I think that's definitely still um, something that has happened as a result of my concussion, but it, like that is personally has shown me how there has been long lasting effects. And um, concussion in children can also stun girls socially, mentally, and physically. And it's very important to realize that there's appropriate um, management that can go on to helping children. And it's evident that you do see a doctor because there are, there are ways to treat it. When I end up getting my concussion, I don't want to say like my parents kind of tossed under the rug, but we weren't as educated as like people would be nowadays, knowing that there are treatments out there and different ways and after I had my concussion, my parents just kind of like pushed me back to practice and like we we're like, oh, go back to school, everything's fine. And I would still be like throwing up or still like dazed and confused and not exactly sure what was going on. So I think knowing everything that I know now and all of like the science and research that has 
go into concussions that I wouldn't have thrown myself back onto the playing field or back into thinking and doing everything and more like have myself more relaxed. Um, doctors can conclude if someone has a concussion by doing an exam and the exam is mentally, physically, as even just like seeing an eye test, doing where you go like this and saying, oh, it's like EC, whatever, or even a lot of things they do is like they walk in a straight line because one of the symptoms are that you like lose your balance and lose um, fatigue. And also language skills are affected during the concussion because your brain is basically like stunned at this point since it is something that is jolting and very effective. And it's important to get treatment for children who are diagnosed with concussion because they're the ones that would be affected at the most because everything is still Everything is still growing and developing at such a young age. Um, so this is just a chart that I found that by um, by sports, this is like the biggest percentage. And I guess you guys like most likely all hear about how in the NFL are doing all these different um, ways and more information sessions about getting concussions because actually recently there has been a lot of retired NFL players that have been now suing the NFL saying that they've gotten a lot of concussions or that their helmets have been um, been as thorough as they should have been. So football is 42% of the concussions that people receive from. And um, concussions in adult are different from children because as like I said before, children are still developing and still growing and everything. So it is a little different, but adults still end up having the same repercussions and problems that everyone else does that face a concussion. But I think it's very interesting that it is essential to make sure that like you are educated, that you shouldn't be just like thrown thrown back into the swing of things since there are a lot of things that end up affecting your growth and stability and that um, and that you should be able to like get help from a doctor and not think that it's like not treatable because you do have to end up like taking a step back and realizing that it does affect your brain activity and brain growth.